European police cars chasing this RV, and he hit us. Video released today shows how a driver didn't care about anyone around him, including the innocent man killed. Good evening. Video shows the RV speeding all over the city from the North Valley to uptown and from downtown to the west side. The chase ended with a deadly crash when police did a pit maneuver and the RV crashed into oncoming traffic, killing an innocent driver. News 13's Lizay Mitri has the dramatic video of this crosstown chase. Dean police say David Barber, a wanted man, was behind the wheel of the RV, swerving and speeding throughout Albuquerque for about an hour. Oh. Oh. 911 emergency. Um, there's an RV driving like crazy, recklessly on Montgomery. They had stuff hanging off of it, and it was running cars off the road. There was like 17 police cars chasing this RV, and he hit us. Dangerous driving all over Albuquerque. It started at an RV park near Edith and Osuna. Suspect, step out with your hands up and empty. Police had been after David Barber, a suspected thief with warrants, for about a month. Last time, he got away. And when officers surrounded him two months ago, he tried again. Look right there! Freeze, please don't move! I told you. He led officers to Uptown, where surveillance shows the RV smash into the entrance of the Target parking lot. Too tight of a squeeze, so the RV backs up, nearly hitting a police officer. Here's the view from his lapel camera. That's when APD deemed Barber a danger, officially authorizing a chase. Officers followed close behind as the RV almost hit a motorcyclist. Oh, oh. And later, Stop right here. Right there. went straight over a roundabout at 8th and Central. At one point, the RV made a quick left and the officer behind it oh, oh. got hit by an SUV. The chase ended for this patrol car when... Oh, a spike belt they were not expecting. Who the was that? Finally, in an attempt to stop the RV near Coors and Irving, police clipped the back of it. The RV went into oncoming traffic and crashed into a car. The driver, Tito Pacheco, later died. Barber tried to run, but police surrounded him after he hopped into a Jeep. Even after the arrest, officers were on scene for hours, beginning the investigation, surveying the damage, wrecked car after car. Barber is still in the Bernalillo County Jail, being held without bond on unrelated cases. He has yet to be charged for this chase or for Pacheco's death. Dean, back to you. All right, Lizzie, thank you. Police also arrested Barber's girlfriend, Stephanie Pacheco. A police report shows just a month earlier, she told officers that Barber knew he was wanted and would avoid going back to jail at any cost.